So I'm really into collection videos. I really enjoy watching people's collections of sunglasses or shoes or anything like that. Uh, this is definitely the type of video I would have liked to see on YouTube while I was around 13 to 15 years old because I felt a bit insecure about the fact that I didn't have any piercings. Uh, it's not because of any religious reasons and even into adulthood now I'm 19 I still don't have piercings and that's a personal choice. I just don't want them. So I thought it would be fun to share my various vintage coupon earrings that I've inherited and just to inspire other people who are looking to build their clip-on collections um, like I would have wanted to when I was 13 or 14. I don't think I even knew what clip-ons were. I don't think I knew that clip-ons existed until I was about 17 years old. So maybe this is not the greatest analogy or a representation of this idea but if you have something that is not the norm like I didn't have piercings you can still work with that and create something very cool out of it so that's just the message I wanted to put out today granted it's clip on the earrings so it's not exactly gonna reach out to a lot of people but even to any 14 year old girl watching, I just want you to feel fun and inspired. But enjoy the video. Enjoy me showing you my various clip-ons and my ears a bunch of times. <laughs> but yeah. So kicking things off, we have a pair of gold button clip-ons. <laughs> These are my most worn clip-ons and they are a pair that I inherited from my great aunt. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous and I like to wear them the most because you can wear them formally or casually and I certainly wore this pair the most to any of my high school dances or university events so far. So next I have these chunky white hoops which I think are beautifully retro and they're another pair from my great aunt who without doubt wore them glamorously in the 1960s. Um, they're quite fun and they kind of remind me a little of Wilma Flintstone. Not 100% sure why but they do and they've suddenly come back in style so I've worn them a fair few times recently. Next are these black centipede looking rings. I think they're edgy and certainly fun for a night out. Um, they're a little too edgy for me most of the time, but I will wear them occasionally. Following that up is these hanging screw-ons. I think that the brass rings are really elegant and romantic. And I think that the detailing on this pair makes them very special. It's very minute, but it makes a statement in my opinion. And I've always found them to be sort of Italian or Venetian in their vibe. And I think that they can be worn casually or formally, maybe on a cute date, that would be nice. <laughs> And then we have these white hoops. <laughs> they are certainly more dainty and thinner than the ones I showed you before. And I think these make less of a statement and are definitely more of an everyday look. I think that the gold clip detailing looks very pretty with the white. And these are something that would definitely look nice with a plain white t-shirt or a blouse. Then there are these silver hanging diamonds, and to clarify, they're definitely not real diamonds, but I do think that the lined up pieces look very elegant and are quite an evening look. They're also my only silver earrings, so if I'd like to wear silver, these are a great choice for me, I think. And for me, they're not a daily look. In my opinion, they look best with maybe a darker evening gown. Pearls, pearls, and pearls. I have various sizes of the same kind of pearl earring, and I will say that while these are not vintage, I like them so much that I wanted to include them to show you because I wore these the most before I ever inherited any vintage ones, and I wore the medium-sized ones almost daily in my final year of high school. I bought the biggest ones from a local jewelry store, and I got smaller ones from Claire's, and you 
could choose to pile them up like you can see now but I don't actually do that in real life I think it looks a bit strange but <laughs> you do you <laughs> more pearls <laughs> these pearls are different from the others because they have a rose gold detail around them which in the camera shows up as a yellow gold but in my opinion these are a little more dressier than the others and if i specifically wanted the gold clip for my outfit i would reach for these instead I then have these gold bars. These vintage clip-ons are some of my favorites because I think they're quite versatile and go with a lot of outfits. I think they're certainly fitting in with today's fashion and there's definitely an element of timelessness to them too. I think they would look great with a plain white shirt and they look great with a cocktail dress too. Ah, the pasta earrings. In my opinion, they resemble pasta that is often shaped like seashells. And maybe the comparison is reaching a little, but that is what I always think when I see them. I think they look rather nice with dressier clothes, but they're also very versatile and go with a lot of different outfits. I then have these wide detailed gold hoops. I think these are rather fashionable right now, I'm pretty sure I've seen something similar on Instagram a lot recently, but mine are really quite special to me because I think they have such a beautiful detailing and pattern that decorates the hoop. I think that they're incredibly elegant and I really wasn't a fan of hoops at all until I was very fortunate to inherit these ones. I then have these flat, round, ivory-colored clips. I think that they are very pretty, simple, and nice for every day. It's great that they pretty much go with anything. I then have these, which I call the Monaco pearls. I think these pearls are so beautiful and so regal. Neither of the pearls or the tiny diamonds in the star around them are real, but that doesn't take away from the fact that they're really beautiful and that they remind me of a certain princess of Monaco. Finally, my absolute favorites, the angels. These angels were given to me as a birthday present from my aunt and there's not really much to say about them except that they're absolutely stunning. They're dainty and pretty and angelic obviously. And yeah, I, I really just I'm in love with them. I think they're great. Yeah, so that's it for my clip-on vintage earrings. I didn't include all of my clip-on earring collection because some of them I, I don't think are necessarily worth showing and I really don't wear a lot of them very much so I found it would be maybe a bit dishonest to show you those if you want to see more maybe i'll make a video on it in the future i really hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and my name is elise and i will see you next time